only thing that pulls its weight around here is my goddamn truck. Projectile weapon on the ground. You can have my gun when you pry it from my cold dead fingers. Your proposal is acceptable. <laughs> Hey guys, what's happening? Niat here with Film Comics Explained, and today we'll be taking a look at Edgar the Bug, who was featured in the original Men in Black, starring Will Smith, Tommy Lee Jones, and Vincent D'Onofrio, directed by Barry Sonnenfeld. Now, Edgar was essentially a sugar-loving bug alien, and the main antagonist of the first Men in Black film, who landed on Earth in search of the Arcalian galaxy. His appetite for consumption and destruction sent him hurling throughout New York City in search of the gem, at the same time that Agent J was learning the ropes about the MIB. After he gained possession of the galaxy, the advanced intergalactic Arcalian species surrounded the Earth and threatened humanity with extermination if the galaxy was not returned to them, sending the Men in Black into overdrive. A member of the Orthopterous Exomorph Clan, Edgar's race were a bunch of enormous belligerent insect-like creatures that desired to breed and consume the galaxy. As was established in the film, the bugs were a nightmarish interstellar species of arthropods which resembled monstrous, overgrown cockroaches of Earth. This resemblance included a slimy and hairy exoskeleton, six limbs with taloned claws, a pair of lengthy antennae crowning the head, a versatile tail armed with a lethal stinger at the tip, and a set of pincer-like mandibles which could retract into the bug's fanged maws. Complementing their unique body structure was a set of impressive superhuman abilities, including amazing strength, heightened intellect, astonishing flexibility, vocal camouflage, the production of defensive adhesives, and the ability to leap great distances. As a defense mechanism, the bugs were capable of manipulating an adhesive green phlegm-like substance from their digestive tract to seize objects or subdue their enemies. The bugs also had the uncanny ability of compressing the majority of their body mass, allowing them to fit inside spaces that were remarkably more compact than what their default size could allow. Along with this, the bugs were also incredibly resilient to physical damage, being able to survive total separation from the lower half of their body, so long as their head was still intact. It was these unique abilities that allowed Edgar to stay ahead of the MIB and the Arcalians, whilst under the pursuit of the experienced Agent K and his recently recruited partner, Agent J. Though he primarily resembled a cockroach, his features also mimicked those found on several other insects native to planet Earth. For example, his body frame and eyes had a strong resemblance to that of the praying mantis, his hind legs were similar to those featured on crickets, and his scorpion-like tail had a stinger, much like that of a hornet. While in the guise of Edgar, he looked extremely ragged with the skin around his face shapelessly sagging down. Due to being concealed in dead flesh, his appearance became increasingly disheveled over time, as the Edgar suit began to rot and change its colour tone. During the film, Edgar rampages throughout New York City in search of the tiny galaxy, and can be seen having kinship with the insects of Earth, probably due to them sharing some form of evolutionary connection, and we see many instances where these bugs were flocking towards their alien relatives in hordes. This idea is confirmed with Edgar getting furious whenever a cockroach was killed within his presence, leading him to retaliate due to his volatile temper. Okay. Yes, good. Thank you. Thank you for making sure the bell works. But don't do that. Do what? Don't do it. In the graphic novel Men in Black Retribution, which served as a direct sequel to the first film, we see the bugs in their larval form. While technically newborns, bug larvae were actually considerably larger than the adults and much more dangerous. In this early stage, the bugs possessed a multi-legged grub-like appearance, complete with a pair of round compound eyes, a crude set of mandibles, and a circular mouth opening lined with many razor-sharp tusks. Within the animated series, which followed an alternate continuity to that of the films, the bugs were revealed to come in many shapes and sizes, resembling a variety of insects and arachnids. Their home world was also referred to as the Hive, and at the apex of their hierarchy sat the Queen, the supreme ruler and progenitor of the entire bug species. 
It's in the animated series that we also discover that the bugs only ever mounted invasions on unsuspecting planets when their queen was about to birth her newest brood, thus allowing her children to feed upon the planet's population and resources. It's because of this that the Arthopterous Exomorphs were notorious for being known as one of the most feared alien races throughout the galaxy. In a transformative performance from D'Onofrio, his emergence from the crater and the frustrated walk indicative of a 12-foot being squeezed into a man half its size was just incredible to watch. Everything about him was different to the unpleasant farmer that we had seen just seconds earlier. To find his physicality for the character, Vincent had experimented with ankle and knee braces, playing with their restrictiveness to discover the perfect stride. The sharp and jagged physicality, elastic face, and snarling deep voice encapsulate the result of an actor that was curious and confident enough to experiment with the possibilities. Well, that's all for today, folks. Thanks to all of you guys who requested we take a look at Edgar the Bug, featured in Men in Black. If you haven't seen the movie, I've left a link to where you can purchase it below. And if there's any other stuff you'd like me to check out, please don't hesitate to ask. As always, it's been a pleasure. Niat here with Film Comics Explained. Thanks for stopping by. I'm sorry. Was that your auntie? Oh, then that must mean that that's your uncle then, huh? Well, well. Big bad bug got a bit of a soft spot, huh?